Hello Riderfest viewers, this is Rebirth, and today I'll be reviewing the SH Fig Arts X, Kamen Rider Double, Machine Hard Boilder. Yes, this is another eagerly anticipated review, so let's Rider Kickstart this review! For more information about SH Fig Arts, head over to Giltar's Introduction to SH Fig Arts, which he created during week 1 of Riderfest. If you're interested in this figure line, find out what you're getting into first. The front of the packaging is pretty standard for most of the Double Series Fig Arts. Aside from the SH Fig Arts X logo in the right hand corner, you get a black box containing a black and white image of the bike in the front. The text Kamen Rider Double Machine Hard Boilder is off to the side in a nice cyclone green. The same text is also found on both sides of the box. The back of the box contains some promotional images of the Hard Boilder in different views, as well as an image of Cyclone Joker paired up with the bike. The corner states some information regarding this bike, as it is a modified Honda CBR1000RR. The bottom of the box contains a Kamen Rider double symbol, as well as the text Kamen Rider double machine hard boulder. Some warnings and whatnot, the plastics used to make this bike, the Bandai Tamashii Nations logo, and the barcode, which does not state the retail price of 4,000 yen. Now that the hard boulder is out of the box, let's take a look at the details and paint apps. There's a nice semi-gloss black found all over the front side of the bike. There's a shiny red metallic jewel on the silver V-fin. You get clear parts for the headlights and the windshield, which has the signature silver line split down the center. The turn signals on the front have not been colored. Here you can see that the silver W on the body of the bike repeats on both sides. But once you take a look at the back, turn signals, brake lights, and the license plate are not colored in. The handlebars and speedometer aren't very well detailed, and you can see that the headlights don't have additional molding from behind. If you thought that the green found on the bike was a flat pale green, you're somewhat right, but it actually contains metallic flakes. Though I don't think my camera can actually pick them up. And at the back of the bike, there's a bevel number one, dictating that this is the first attachment for the hard boilder. There's a lot of molded detail found on the body of the bike, since this is a modified Honda CBR1000RR. I'm really surprised at how much attention to detail has gone into this somewhat unexpected release. In addition to all the molded detail found on the plastic parts of the body, you get two diecast metal parts on both sides, as well as another diecast metal part located where the front wheel is. For articulation, I guess I'll go over what parts of the bike actually move. The front wheel is pretty weighty and can actually spin. It's pretty nice. The back wheel can actually spin too, but it's a lot heavier for some reason. And you get a working kickstand that allows the bike to stand on its side. The hard boiler actually has rear suspension thanks to a spring on the inside, as well as front suspension, though I might be putting too much force on the front. The final point of articulation allows the handlebars to turn side to side, as well as the front wheel. A feature the hard boilder has is the ability to transform and swap out parts for future releases. You can see that the front wheel can be taken off and is connected by two round pegs and a square peg. The body can split in half as well and is connected by three different snap together pegs. This is where parts for the hard turbular, splasher, and boiler start dash mode connect. The bike also comes with this little black stand, where at the bottom states where it was made, and the stars for the star re-release system. To use the stand, just slide the back wheel into the slots of the stand, and now you can get the bike to stand up straight if you want. And this is pretty much all you get with the hard boiler. You don't even get any additional holding things hands for the bike, or a special Tamashi display base. But you do get instructions that state you can use a sap. Omae no Tsumiyo Kazairo hands for Cyclone Joker, which is kind of ridiculous. Instructions to use the heat metal and Luna Trigger holding things hands since they can hold things after all. And the same goes for Fang Joker and Cyclone Joker Extreme, and all of the other double releases. Since Cyclone Joker uses the hard boiler most of the time, it seems kind of stupid to not include the holding things hands for him when his figure doesn't even come with them. And using the Sa, Omae no Tsumiyo Kazairo hands, just makes Cyclone Joker a bit awkward when he holds the handlebars. But for any of the other Double Figure Arts releases that have holding things hands, like Cyclone Joker Extreme, Double looks just fine holding the handlebars. But if you have Cyclone Joker and Cyclone Joker Extreme, you can cheat a little. If you take the holding things hands from Cyclone Joker Extreme and swap them on the Cyclone Joker, everything looks A-OK -okay when he holds the handlebars. Now that Cyclone Joker is situated on the hard boiler, you can pose him in some epic poses. 
Add on a Tamashi stage, and you can have him doing a wheelie. Add on two stages for support, and you can emulate a scene from the A to Z, the Guy of Memories of Fate movie. If you have any of the other double figure arts, you can get some awesome on-bike poses with the weapons. All in all, the SH Figure Arts X Machine Hard Boilder is kind of a hit and miss release from Tamashi Nations. You do get Double's bike, but there are some areas that are missing detail and are not colored, especially with the headlights, turn signals, and brake lights. I might be asking too much, but since you may have to pay over $40 US for this, it might not be worth it since it doesn't come with much, just the bike and the small stand. I can only recommend this if you are a major fan of Double and the Hard Boilder, and if you feel like a rider can't be complete without his bike, this would probably be up your alley. I think this would also appeal to those who are interested in collecting toy or model motorcycles. It's pretty good looking and has a great amount of detail, though you can touch up some areas if you'd like. Having said that, I'm very pleased with what the hard boiler is and what it has, even though there is no inclusion of a special stand or holding things hands. And I gotta say, Double looks even better posed with his bike. So if you're not a fan of Double, the hard boiler, or Common Rider, you can skip purchasing this. And that's all I have to say for this review. So I hope you all enjoyed all the videos from all of those who contributed to Riderfest. But I still have one more to do after this one, and it will be a treat. Seriously. So until next time guys, see ya.